and they'd take down Little Falls in that rematch. Winner to the championship game. Top of the fifth, tied at one. Travis Wenzel sends one to deep right field. Scores the run easily from third on the tag up. Flyers lead two to one. Bottom half, Midgey with the bases loaded. Hunter Olsen pulls one right down the line. Isaiah Bean scores. They'd get four runs in the inning up five to two, but that's where the wheels came off. Tied at five in the sixth, an error. Jacob Hahn scores. And Little Falls regains the lead up six to five. Next inning, Little Falls looking for insurance up by two. Capon lifts one deep to left field. Would have been a ground rule double. Hits the foul pole, scores two, and then Capon ends up with the Little League inside the park home run after an error. Seven errors for Bemidji. Too much as they fall 13 to seven. Didn't help that Otto Grimm was injured and didn't play in that second game. And after the game, Little Falls head coach Chad Cadet said he was hopeful that the balls would start bouncing their way. They were pretty relaxed yesterday at practice, probably the, the loosest we've seen at practice this year. So I knew they'd be ready. I think they maybe were a little uptight at the start of the game, but you know they've, they've got a lot of faith in each other, a lot of trust in each other, and you know eventually breaks will start coming. I thought we were getting barrels to the ball, and then eventually things go your way. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.